We've had 5,560 votes, 675 app downloads, dozens of tweets and Facebook check-ins, 31 days, 26 pubs and 26 pies, God only knows how many schooners of Cooper's pay allowed, three pies on the shortlist, and now, finally, one big winner. G'day, this is Paul for Cooper's TV, and we're at the business end of the Cooper's Pie and Pale promotion. It's a beautiful day in Sydney, perfect pie weather. So join me inside the four in hand as we discover whose pie came up trumps for the title of Sydney's best gourmet pie 2011. Okay, good. It looks like a mini version of the winner. Excuse me. Bloody nice pastry. And it's come down to the judging today, so I'd like to introduce the fellow judges. Cooper's chairman, Glenn Cooper. The four-hand head chef, Colin Fastage, the director of Crazy Sydney International Food Festival, telling us that Oh, it's amazing. Very delicious. We've got Graham from Premium Beverages with us. Graham, can you give us a recap on this year's promotion? Uh, what we did was build on the success of last year's promotion. Went around to 26 hotels throughout Sydney where they'd produce a gourmet pie and a Cooper's Pale Ale for $20. Now this year we've also introduced public voting with our special iPhone app, which diners were able to download free of charge from the iTunes store. Uh, it's been a great gig. I mean, for a start hanging out with chef like Colin, who I've admired for years, and Joanna, and tasting some great pies and drinking a bloody good beer, quite frankly. The whole Crave Sydney International Food Fest was about engaging everybody at the level or in the areas that they really like to get involved with food and drink and pubs and pies, well, it's a winning formula. It's about pub life first because you've got to be enjoying the environment. Our beers being all natural and the pies are all natural, so you're going to get a, a full flavour experience. Pubs like this, that's what we push for. It's like good quality products, good quality pies all year. We looked at each pie very carefully from the pastry right through to the filling. A little bit of a tough decision, but there was one standout. I don't know if it was the Northern Territory that had something to do with it. It was the Outhouse Hotel at the Northern Territory. Uh, the People's Choice Award goes to the Piermont Point Hotel for their Nepalese Billy Goat Pie. Well, that's it for another year. The Cooper's Pie and Power Challenge has been a massive hit. The Art House walked away with the title of Sydney's best gourmet pub pie, and the Piermont Point Hotel won the People's Choice Award. My work's done for this year, so I'm gonna tuck into this pie and drink my beer. Cheers. <laughs>